we are faced with the fact, my friends, that tomorrow is today. Procrastination is still the thief of time. Over the bleached bones and jumbled residues of numerous civilizations are written the pathetic words, too late. There's no gain without struggle, but if you're willing to try to draw, Dr. King, I'll make sure that you have a good chance of succeeding. But don't just watch this video, participate, because no work is insignificant. All labor that uplifts humanity has dignity and importance and should be undertaken with painstaking excellence. That excellence is not the end result or the finished work, it is the growth that is sustained through your effort. If you have a dream and the motivation to improve your drawing abilities, here's your blueprint to success. Hit the link in the video description right now, then reopen the video on the linked page. As you scroll down, you will see photo and text resources to accompany this video. The combination of the step-by-step -step instruction in this video and the text and photo resources will give you a great chance to succeed if you're up to the challenge. Let's begin. In step one, we're going to make shapes that will eventually become the eye. Both shapes look like a skinny Pac-Man eating an almond. Be sure to notice that there's a slight difference between the two shapes. Use your observation skills because each shape is not symmetrical. Here's a close-up. Step 2. Draw in the pupil and iris. Notice that you can see the bottom of the circle for the pupil and iris, but not the top. Step 3. Draw in the nose shape and the extra shapes for the shadows around it. The height of this shape should be about one-third the height of the Pac-Man shapes from step one. The width should be exactly as wide as the Pac-Man eye shape on your left. Notice that the nose shape does not attach to the eye shape. Step four. Add the quadruple shape that you see. The top shape will be Dr. King's mustache, which looks like a flattened M shape. The second shape from the top will be a highlight between the mustache and the top lip. The third shape resembles a lightning bolt and will be the top lip. The fourth shape is the bottom lip. Notice that it's bowl shaped and slightly thicker than the top lip. Step five, add the shape of the forehead. This shape is about twice as tall as the Pac-Man shape for the eye to the left. Step six, do not freak out. Calm down. Add the shape for the outline of the head and hair. Focus on the edge of the head. The lines for the shadow on the face do not have to be perfect, but the outside of the head has to be close. I repeat, focus your efforts on the outline of the head. Step seven, add the ear shape and the outline for the rest of the face. Step eight, add the shape for the clothing. It's going to be in heavy shadow, so just go over the general shape and don't stress out if it's not perfect. Step nine, complete the clothing. Again, it will be in heavy shadow, so don't become a perfectionist for this step. Step 10, fix the ear and the hairline. Okay, so now it's time for the shading part of this video, and if you haven't done so already, definitely uh, hit the link in the video description. I think the pictures will really come in handy. Uh, I'm basing that on feedback that I've gotten. Um, I've done some videos that I haven't done uh, the extra pictures on my website, uh, you know, versus the ones that I have, and people always seem to like it better uh, when I do that, and I've gotten a lot of requests recently uh, for that. Um, anyway, let's get right into the shading. I am uh, I'm putting uh, cross hatching in first, uh, line next to line, various pressures with the pencil. Um, I'm pretty much using a uh, HB pencil, um, maybe with the exception of the background. The background I use the side of my uh, 6B graphite stick, uh, and I just kind of smudged just so that I could get a uh, um, a, a quick uh, area of shading. Um, I'm sorry, I, I put the side down and then I smudged with the paintbrush, I mean. Um, and that just gave me, you know, a, a nice light uh, to neutral tone in the back. That's uh, That tone is going to be really important because, um, you know, if you do a highlight, white does not show up on white. 
um, and the highlights are actually uh, pretty bright uh, from the reference images um, and you need a, a more uh, darker background in order to bring them out. Um, I am staying kind of light to start out uh, with the uh, the cheek. That's going to be the most challenging part of this. Uh, it's it's going to get dark, but you know you want to slowly, slowly build that. Um, if you put it all in at once, you're going to wind up damaging the page, and it's it's really tough to draw when you get uh, a lot of texture on the page. Um, don't get me wrong. There's a difference between tooth and texture. The paper has tooth. You know, the paper is going to grab um, the small particles of graphite um, and, and clay that's in the pencils. And, you know, it's going to stick to that. But if you press really hard on the page, um, it, it's going to indent. And, uh, you know, that that's going to be really problematic. So make sure that you don't press hard. Make sure that you build it up gradually. Occasionally, you'll see me break that rule, but... Um, I, I always feel bad when I when I do. Um, it's just you, you're not being patient enough. But really, you want to be patient. Um, I, if you haven't done this already, I, I recommend that you watch. Uh, I, I recommend that you pause the video at different steps. Maybe watch the video once through, but um, you know, pause the shading part at different steps, uh, and you know, try to shade along with me that way. Um, there's no way that you could keep up with this. This is a fast forward. Um, you know, a, a time lapse video, and it took me about an hour and a half, well, about an hour, I guess, to do this. So, you know, don't try to keep up. It's impossible to, because I have it, like, sped up to, like, six minutes. Um, and I am just, uh, I'm, I'm basically doing the same thing over and over again. It is cross hatching, and then I'm doing smudging with the paintbrush. And then I'm doing another layer of cross hatching on top of that. And I'm starting to go in with the eraser. Because it's starting to uh, resemble Dr. King right now. And remember, the eraser is a drawing tool as well. You know, it's, it's almost the, the negative value. You know, the positive value would be the pencil tip. Um, the negative value taking away is um, the eraser. Darkest parts are going to be the hair, the eyebrow, um, the upper eyelashes, the eyes, um, pupil and iris, um, the nostrils, the mustache, uh, and definitely the... Um, uh, at the clothing that he's wearing. Yeah, you know, between the two lips and the mouth is also pretty dark, um, and right down uh, at the bottom of the chin is is also very dark. Darkest, I would have to say, is eye, the eye. Um, it's going to be darker um, on the uh, you know by, uh, closer to the ear than it is at the top of the head. You have to look really closely to see that, but the hair is actually more in light, um, you know, more in highlight. And notice how subtly it gets, um, it, it goes from the dark to the light. That's what makes this image. And that's what's going to give it life. And it's a challenge to do that. Um, I'm not really using a blending stump in this one. In other videos, I've used a blending stump. The paintbrush gives you that gradual, gradual, you know, transition. And a lot of you have left comments. Um, Meryl, I've tried the paintbrush. Uh, it's not working like it does for you. It takes time to build... Uh, I'm not talking about build up the skill. It takes time to accumulate the graphite to get on there. Um, that's actually a valuable thing. In painting, you always want to clean your brush, um, but it's a little bit different here. Anyway, uh, we are almost finished. Yeah, we are finished. Um, I hope this helped. Um, utilize the resources on the website. Um, you know, hit the link. Um, let me know how it goes. You know, post a video response. Uh, I'm always happy to hear from you.
Thanks for watching.